Pantasaurus and the Power of Pants by Rebecca Gerling and Fiona Galloway. Read and signed by Isla Ross. I hope you enjoy it. One sunny morning, Pantasaurus wakes to find a surprise at the end of his bed. And this surprise couldn't be better. Yes, new pants! Pants that make him want to dance. Pants, pants, pantasaurus. He sings as he bounces out of his bedroom, straight into Dino Dad. Can anyone join in? Dino Dad and Pantasaurus dance all the way. Pants, pants, pantasaurus into the kitchen. Dino Dad looks in the fridge. Fancy some orange juice? <gasps> yes, please. And an apple for your lunchbox? <gasps> Double yes. Pantasaurus and Dino Dad have just enough time to hang out some washing before they set off for school. This might sound silly, says Dino Dad. But did you know that your pants can make you strong? Pantasaurus frowns. But pants are just pants, aren't they? He asks. They are, says Dino Dad. But wearing your pants gives you special powers. And they're your pants and it's your body. And if someone asks to see or to touch underneath your pants, they'd get a big, loud no. Wow, Dino Dad laughs. That's a great answer. What if someone said to keep it a secret? Pantasaurus thinks. Hmm, I'd tell Someone I trust, he replies, like you, on the way to school. Pantasaurus can't wait to see his friends. And when he gets there, everyone is waiting for him. Hello, Pantasaurus. They have loads of fun getting messy in art making beautiful sounds in music and practicing their spelling. Okay, children, the teacher announces it's playtime. Everyone runs outside. But then, oh gosh, Pantasaurus gets his second surprise of the day. Pantasaurus's shorts and his pants are super soggy. Not to worry, says his teacher cheerily. We'll get you dry in no time. And off she pops back to the classroom. Pantasaurus's teacher comes back with some spare clothes. Here you go, she says. If you get changed quickly, you'll have lots of time to play. <gasps> Pantasaurus feels embarrassed. <gasps> he can't get changed in the middle of the playground. <gasps> What's in his pants belongs only to him. Then Pantasaurus remembers the power of his super soggy pants. And he says a big, loud, no. Oh dear, says Pantasaurus's teacher. I think there's been a mix up. I didn't mean for you to get changed right here. She hands him his clothes. You can put these on in the toilets. No one will see you in there. When Pantasaurus gets back, there's still lots of time to play, just like his teacher said there would be. Back 
Back in the classroom, everyone settles down to enjoy a story. Today, the story is about little red Rorosaurus. She's a brave little monster who defeats a mean old ogre with nothing but a big, loud no. At home time, Dino Dad notices Pantasaurus's spare trousers. Oh, let me guess, he says. You found a puddle. Yes, cries Pantasaurus. My shorts and pants got totally soaked. On the walk home, Pantasaurus tells Dino Dad all about the mix-up and the big, loud, no. Oh, don't worry, says Dino Dad. I'm sure your teacher understands. I'm really proud of you for speaking out, my brave little monster. When they get home, Dino Dad chuckles. It looks like you're not the only one whose pants got soaked today.